I, Heidi Alford. The Bellingham Cooperative School started in 1969. I was a nanny for a family whose children were at the co-op school. And then um, years later, when my husband and I had a child, I was invited to come and teach and bring the baby to school. So my daughter was raised with 40 big brothers and sisters at the co-op school. And she uh, eventually grew up to teach alongside me. So it was definitely a family affair. In my classrooms, I built inclusivity. There, there was always an attempt by children to exclude one another in simple things like just saying, this is my best friend. And we would have a conversation in our classroom about when you're in school, we're all friends together. And when you say, this is my best friend, then you're leaving all the other kids out of the circle. So even my preschoolers learned that you can't say you can't play. Sometimes kids who have had difficulty in more structured settings, it wasn't apparent when they were in our classrooms because they had more freedom. It was a smaller class. I really think that I can do my work of encouraging openness and acceptance of all people just in my daily activities. When I finish wrapping up the things that I need to do for closing the school, I plan to go out in the community and go to the schools and go into my friends' classrooms and sit down and read my favorite books for half an hour and find other places to do story time. But that's, that's one of the things I love reading to kids because I can choose books that have a little moral in them, even though they're silly and um, some of them are their traditional stories that they all know, but then there's an opportunity to talk about how people treated each other in the story and what that means and just bring in a little bit of a different piece of the world to them.